Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Let's Read. So we've watched all of the Garden of Sinners movies, and we've experienced most of it. However, there is one final piece of Garden of Sinners media that exists only in the literary world, and that is the last novel, The Garden of Oblivion, also known as The Garden of Sinners Final Record. So this is the last chapter, although it's not like the last canonically, I did, get, did a quick cursory Google, and uh, if the last movie covered chapters 4 and 11, this is chapter 10. So, we're not going all the way to see little, you know, Shiki's child and all that. No, 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 no. But it's coming before, and it's going to be interesting. So, apparently this is, in a word, unadaptable, which terrifies me. Um, but that said, we are going to need to take multiple videos to get through this. This is a full novel. This is not a short story. We read, like, one short story and it took an hour. I'm not going to be reading for, like, five hours long all at once. So, we are going to break this into, uh, kind of chapter chunks. Um, so because of that, please be careful about spoilers, especially in the chat. Not everyone will have read it, so please don't talk about stuff early. Or I will ban you. I've done it before. And I will do it again. Especially because, like, I probably won't even have read it. So, you don't want an angry Tanner. So, that said, let's bring up our handy dandy book. Whoop, there it is. Totally legitimate, real copy of the book that I absolutely am holding in my hands right now. Look, see, I can, I can shake it around. See? Ooh, totally real. Totally real. Look, see? Whoa, it's real. So, um, let's, uh, let's get going. Boom. The Garden of Oblivion. So, uh, one thing about this I will say is that, oh my god, thank goodness. Thank goodness for the fact that, unlike last time, everything's nice and nice and in line, you know? So I don't have to worry about looking all over the page. So we have the front cover. Some obvious inspirations from the movies, as this came after the movies, of course. This was uh, made possible by the popularity of the movies kind of making it be big again so let's uh let's give this a go so kara no kyokai shumatsu rokuan by kinoku nasu and the translation is by seruzo's girlfriend on the beast layers forms so thank you without you we wouldn't have this but uh obviously i think there's a couple different translations those will have differences um but not to worry. I think the general, the general gist of it should still be correct. So, uh, let's get going. Okay. So we're starting with. We're gonna probably read the prologue in chapter one today, just because looking at the page numbers, that's a lot, but it's not too much. So, here we go. Prologue. Twelve o'clock to three o'clock. Shizune Seo stood on a steeply risen cliffside overseeing the dim ocean. The sun had been slowly rising over the horizon, yet the sky is st still a lead-gray color. The heavy storm clouds rumbled. It's as if some kind of boil-stewed vegetables clung onto the sky. However, on the other side of the horizon seems like a different scenery altogether. In summary, the whole panoramic view of the ocean cannot be called an ocean. How do you say this? The ocean is dry. The ocean was thrown into a huge vortex, rapidly being drained into the bottom. That is because three days ago, Earth suddenly gave a loud bang and became deflated. Just like an empty plastic bottle that was being squashed. There was no reason for it, and it felt unreal for that to happen. Even though there are many theories, such as a meteor strike or the movement of the Earth's surface, etc., etc., However, we humans don't have the time for research and solutions. In the end, the Earth's dis deflation has no sign or reason. The cities with the greatest human population were in a state of chaos. We knew this ending firsthand. That is why we left the city before the chaos happened at an unnamed cliff at the edge of the country to welcome the end. As to why we knew about the situation beforehand, it's due to my ability to predict the future. But that is all... It is to my powers. I do not know the cause of the end of the world, as well as the solution. That is why I can only make the safest choice to die. 
and it is the only way to leave the human world that I can save my friends. During the three days of the collapse of the Earth and mankind, the five young girls that ran to the cliff helped each other, encouraged each other, fought against each other, hated each other, and finally killed each other overlooking the dim ocean. I looked back, pieces of Azaka-san's body littered in front of me, as well as the entirely burned corpse of Fujino. Misaya senpai headed back to the city, however, she should be a zombie chow by now. Even though I am the sole survivor of mankind, but this shall only last for a few more minutes. Because my arms and legs have been sliced off and I am rapidly losing blood, I had already lost consciousness. At the hazy last moments of death, I started to remember the things that had happened till today. That's right. The world shall end before dawn. Shizune Seo stared blankly as everything started to unfold before her eyes. As I thought in my head, why do I have such a doubt? Why do I only feel frustration? The ending actually didn't matter. It's as if a day had passed by. I could still accept it, even though I had lost everything in an instant, because I never seriously lived my life yet. I don't have the fiery soul of Azaka Kokuto. I am just like a clock, routinely accepting anything that comes in my way every day. Even though there's not much difference every day, if the world came to an end, I will just think, Oh, so that is how it is. Although I look like an average person, I have no more humanity inside my heart. I only have a brief understanding of the future event, and that is why I have this habit. And till now, that I felt pessimistic about it. About this, rather. However, the me now, and the form of the ending is two separate things altogether. I have no qualms about the end of the world. In one minute, I don't care about anything anymore. But... There was still a feeling of dismay that I couldn't be at ease. Suddenly had doubt. Why is this ending always so heartbreaking? No matter if we hated each other or destroyed the friendship between us, even though we had gotten backstabbed or ran away like a nameless soldier, I just felt really stupid. But this could be accepted too. Even though I myself was forgotten, even though the people forgot, yet were unable to be recorded down, if most of the endings were happy, that is the ending I can accept. However, no matter how happy each day was, they were all useless when the end arrives. Everything will have an end. If there is no way to apologize for the sudden end, at least there could be a happy ending for everyone. When it was too late to wipe off this feeling of, of and loneliness, the ocean was emptied, as if it were a tub filled with water that was unplugged. The surface of the world cracked, fell into the abyss. This is also a type of world end. I close my eyes silently. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a start, huh? So, if you don't remember, Shizune Seo, that's the girl in the top right here with the little bangs. She has the future vision, right? She can see into the future. She can't, like, calculate it, but she knows what's going to happen pretty much, right? Um... So she sees everyone dead, huh? Including Zaka, Sokokuto's sister, um, Fujino, Misaya Senpai. I don't remember. I'm gonna assume that's the other. I'm gonna assume that's the it. Is that the? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick cursory Google. Um, I'm gonna go Garden of Sinners Messiah. Is that the girl? Oh no, that is the student council girl. I thought that was the girl from the room. That is absolutely the student council girl. Okay. All right. Double checking. I definitely didn't remember her name. So I'm happy that I did. And hopefully you now know too. So they're all, this is interesting. So Azaka cut into pieces, Fujino burned, Messiah zombie chow? The inclusion of zombies is interesting. Now, because this was written so much later, right? We can assume there will be more connections with the Nasuverse. Like, the proper extended Nasuverse. Just because of the fact that n now we know fully about it. Because when Garden of Sinners won... Like, Garden of Sinners, the first draft was written, like, before... It was the first thing. 
you know, the, or the first chapters. The first chapters came up before notes. Um, and then, obviously, Garden of Sinners um, ended after notes. So it's like, which is the first? Well, it's, it's a matter of perspective. Which got started first versus which finished first. Notes finished first, but Garden of Sinners started first. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, but I'm assuming now that we're going to be getting some more stuff. So, like, talking about zombies. Okay. And even talking about, like, the state of the world, right? We definitely learned that the world has some unique characteristics thanks to later media. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Anyways, that's my thoughts. Um, hopefully you have yours. Let's uh, continue on to chapter one. So this is before, right? We have the time clearly noted. It says it is uh, 9.30 to 11.30. Thank God it's just time and not like date. I'd be screwed for date. So uh, let's get going here. So we were running in the woods before dawn, running for our lives in the woods of the familiar Ray and Girls Academy. Huh. However, a scream just like in a manga was admitted, followed by the nu nuisance of falling. She was embarrassingly tripped by a tree root, falling face first in the mud. I say, Shizune, you fall face first onto the ground? Oh, Azaka-chan, this is the thing you were worried about. sayo san uh, uh, really, why do you purposely pick this kind of moment to cause other people problems? You should really act a little more ladylike. Uiji senpai always has the ability to read the atmosphere. Even so, the two persons walking in front, Azaka Kokuto and Misaya Oji, stopped in their advance and turn around. Their expressions were tense. They are being chased. No, the situation was much worse than that. This is because we were being chased by dozens of zombies. <laughs> Zombie noises. Even though I tried to get up as fast as I could, due to the extreme chaos, my arms w couldn't move at all. I could not have the courage to tell them, Just run, don't care about me. The sound of the violent footsteps became more and more clear. The rotten corpses came out from the woods while producing creaking sounds. Fingers that couldn't be identified as either bones or rotten flesh reached out and grabbed my ankles to have a taste of live human flesh. Even the corpse whose identity is hard to determine bent downwards for the girl's ankles. Alas, this was the ending. It also became this kind of progress, this future, this ending. I regret it very much. We also lost our target this time, and our progress forward performed a life-threatening accident. Azolto! Azolto. That sounds familiar. In the nick of time came the fate-changing moment. The woods at night suddenly burst into an ocean of flames. Azaka Kokto's long dark hair danced with the wind just like a falling star. The person that changed my death fate is... No one else but my friend, Azaka Kokto. She immediately turned around. Her fist hit the face of the corpse that was about to eat its prey. Shizu Shizune Seo in an instant. It ignited into a hot flame with a boom. That was either the powers from the glove she was wearing or her personal powers. Even though this was rather sudden, but she is a girl that allows everything she touches to be ignited. Seven days ago, before the world became like this, she simply admitted... It's not really anything strange, it's better than a lighter, but not as good as a flamethrower. Just a power that doesn't deserve to be proud of or anything. Even though any average person couldn't let anything they that they had... Whoa, ha, whoa, some of these sentences are weird. Even though any average person can let anything that they had hit to burst into flames, she herself, however, doesn't feel as though it was any big deal. That could be explained by any principle out there. Azaka Kokto just like Shizune Seo, was Rain Girls Academy Year 2 student, 17 years old. Even though she was born with the looks of a rich, dainty girl, her expression was frank yet energetic at the same time. Her personality was uptight. She valued her friends with an extreme sense of justice to finish off the perfect protagonist role. Her survival skills were able to aspire, were able to aspire every student of the academy. She was a person complete with integrity. Shizune, get up quickly. Those things are coming here soon. Th thank you, uh, Zaka-chan, but there's no use. We can't escape anymore. However, 
No matter how special is Azaka Kokto, she still couldn't escape from fate. She should have run away. From the moment she stopped and chose to help her friend, she lost her escape route. We were slowly surrounded by more zombies. A man wearing a suit. A rather handsome young man that got his hair dyed white that was bitten. Dermilier Ray and Girls Academy students. The sisters that were strict yet gentle seven days ago, etc., etc. The people that were different on both the outside and the inside, but became something that chased down the humans that were still alive together. Can't escape. Does that mean I'll be killed? Azaka-chan, if you protect me... If you protect me, you will be bitten by a second one. If not, when the fifth one reaches you, you'll be gone. Uh, I don't want to hear this kind of future. There's no brighter future. For example, when the younger sister is in danger, the big brother will arrive like some knight in shining armor or something. Um, That kind of future never existed. But don't worry, in five minutes it'll be the same, no matter what, and an hour it'll all be over. Even though we are able to pull through, at the end... Hold you already. Don't tell me that kind of prediction to anyone anymore. If you want to give up, please wait till you're alone and it'll not be too late. Then the woods started to rustle. I should mention that the rustling was like a breeze. Countless, more accurately, dozens of transparent things flew through the woods, attached onto the zombies. This is great. Rest, please rest in peace. Messiah Oji was as if a conductor conducting her song. At her command, the things that were attached onto the zombies exploded in succession, creating countless holes in the stomach or the chest of the zombies. The destructive power could rival a bomb. Miss Hyacinth, beautiful. You should be properly thanking me, and then reflect on your actions, Kokto-san. Fighting is about the survival of the fittest. Even though you are unable, unbeatable in close combat, but if the enemy bit you even once, you're dead. I warned you that getting close to them is not a good idea already. I already knew about that without you telling me. Messiah Senpai's fairies are to clear off the small fries while I'm dedicated for the boss fight. Now that I mention it, don't you mention that you've already used your fairies already? Well, they're reserved for emergencies only. Don't be so picky when you're saved. Upperclassman Messiah Oji grunted, flicking her long hair. If Azaka-chan was a maiden, Messiah Senpai was a mature female. She was a tall figure. Her actions gave... Others are more womanly than girl feel, more queen than princess feel. The hairband uh, above her bangs was her only student look. Even though those were the past, but Messiah Oji was a student and ruler of Rain Girls Academy. No matter what, she was the chairman's eldest daughter. She also used to be the student council president. After her retirement, she became the vice dormitory president. For Shizune Seo, she was as if a towering castle. For Azaka Kokto, she coincidentally became an enemy. However, Messiah Senpai had a side of her that no one knew. She was able to control dozens of roughly five centimeter of height, fairyish things that can't be seen by the naked eye. Even though it's a special power, but it's not that much of a big deal. I'm just able to control low-level creatures that can't be seen by the naked eye. That was what she exposed seven days ago. The standard of these fairies. The standard of these fairies, even though were equivalent to bees, but they were ferocious in numbers, and some of them could also self-destruct, which saved us countless times already. Messiah Senpai had the ability to single-handedly escape and meet up with us at the dormitory. It must have been because the f the fairies control the fairy controlling powers. However, this queen is only the queen of her dying country. Even though I used up all my cards, the situation now has changed. We just need to get to the teaching building, and we could be saved, right, Seo-san? Masaya Oji took a deep breath. Her expression slowly relaxed when she observed her surroundings. I, uh, that one, this one... Please speak clearly. You're the one who told me if we stayed at the dorm, only death awaits us. I already know that your prediction abilities are true. This is really great. If only you could be more confident. We could only last till yesterday if we stayed at the dorm. Only if we manage to cross the teaching office and reach the guest hut on the hill, then we won't be completely annihilated. That's the best future you saw, right? Just as Messiah Oji said, I had the ability to predict the future. Just as Azaka Kokto and Messiah Oji revealed their powers, Shizune Seo revealed hers as well. Ah, so that was it. I always had this feeling before. Shizune was always like a puppy. Sometimes she would be like a cat, suddenly staring at a spot unmoving. 
That above was her roommate, Azaka Kokdo's comment. Even though it was an exaggeration, Shizune Seo was just an average-looking girl that can be found anywhere. She had short hair that was uncommonly found in Rei and Girls Academy, as well as an average body height and weight. Even so, she was loved by her seniors, and for reasons such as she's a late bloomer in every aspect, that's why she's cute. My hometown is the Northeast, the only daughter of a brewery from that uh, was opened that was uh, that was opened since the Edo period. Even though my ability to view the future is produced from my brain, for further details, please head to another story to understand better. Wow, she's just saying it, huh? She's just saying, hey, you gotta read the last one, or watch the movie. Now, the main point is that I'm able to see the future, which is also the ending. Today's evening, Shuzune Seo told her friends that they were lucky to still be alive, about her ability to see the future. They believed her, or you could say that the powers had saved them countless times, which they had to believe her. They started to head towards the guest house, which was the only desperate way out of the deathly ending. The only way to make it out alive is to get to the guest house. The only thing they could do are to risk their lives for this ambiguous prediction. Ah, uh, but that's impossible. Especially Messiah Senpai. I can only see Senpai Hagu by a bunch of zombies. Why is it just me? And what does Hagu mean? Does it sound to be getting bitten, or is it Hug? Messiah Senpai tried to protect her body in a state of panic. I also hate the ending where she would become a zombie. We won't be able to kill all of them if we only rely on Messiah Senpai. If their hearts are not destroyed, they will not stop. See, the bunch just now is not entirely dead. Our encirclement is turning smaller by the second. How oh, uncivilized. Just like Kokuto-san's demonstration. Messiah Senpai ran towards Azaka Kokuto. She was more useless than me when she used up her fairies. The decision of it would be wiser to hide behind Izaka Kokuto, whom possessed stronger, advanced capabilities, was just right, which caused me to tear up. Hey, why did you run back? I thought you could run away yourself. I, uh, how could I abandon my Kohai? I can carry Seo-san. Kokuto-san will be responsible for those guys that are dripping viscera. Ah, uh, that's gross. Why didn't you blast their heads off? Even though those fairies self-destructed, but if you aim for their head, they would be dead. That's because comparing with a smaller target, which is the head, a large torso would be easier to aim, right? Oh, so you're not confident with your own accuracy. Azaka Kokuto crossed her arms in front of her face. Her stance leaned forward slightly before she dashed forward, as if the bell rang for the boxes to advance towards their opponents. Or boxers? Boxers. Boxers. She dashed into the group of zombies using her left hand. She gently pushed away a reckless attack from a zombie while her right hand smashed into its face. Fireballs burst out in the darkness. Azaka Kokuto's right fist, even without the ability to destroy the skull, was able to cause things to be ignited. The temperature could reach 2,000 Celsius and above. The brain immediately turned to ashes, which caused the corpse to stop moving. Even though the other parts of the zombie were destroyed, it could still move. But if the brain is mostly damaged, it will turn back into a corpse. Huh. 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 However, Azaka-chan that managed to defeat the zombies became tired. Even though her ability to light things on fire won't cause her to be fatigued, she had to be within the distance that the zombies could reach her, and they are opponents that may not be defeated in one hit. So, when there's a conflict, a girl like Azaka Kokuto will have a hard time when they compare strength. She may be overpowered and bitten in no time. A one-on-one -on -one fight always has the risk of death. If she would be ganged up by at least three zombies, Zaka Kokuto's advantage would most probably be gone. This caused her to be really tired. The extreme stress as well as the reality of killing those humanoids and staying alive, all of them ate away at her strength and spirit. You could say that her situation was really bad. Three young girls that had their eyebrows fur furrowed. The group of zombies that had their numbers well over 30 that are surrounding them now. We almost reached the final chapter now. Are you able to see the future now, Shizune? Azaka-chan, that one. You could use the time to lie like I could see my cute classmate win. That I consider you as a really considerate friend, but this matter-of-fact situation can't be of any comfort. Messiah senpai I apologize for not being smart, but to tell you the truth, I feel that Senpai is really cute when you curl your hair. I thought about the past events in the Ryan Girls Academy, which caused me to begin laughing. 
Even though I was in the situation, no, it was because I was in the situation, I was able to reveal all my emotions which were bottled up. Huh. Even though I don't want to say this, but there are no more ideas. Kokto-san, we are going to deal with the zombies at the teaching office. We'll allow Seo-san to use this opportunity to run into the building. How's that? Nisaya-senpai. How about this? I can deal with the two on the left and right and meet up with Shizune. The only one that'll die in vain is you, senpai. Well, whatever you say. I still have my trump card that I haven't used yet. The only one that will be turned into a zombie is you. Ah, you're such an untrustworthy senpai. How many trump cards do you actually have? Whatever you say. Skillful women all have unlimited trump cards. The encirclement sh slowly shrunk. The two girls had mental preparation, made mental preparation before they tried to break through the situation they found themselves in. The girl that could see the future gave them a pained expression. Uh, Zaka-chan, excuse me for interrupting you and Messiah senpai but there's a change in the future. The fireball that Azaka-chan made just now seems to have attracted Asagami-san. Something strange happened when the other two were about to react to the statement. There was a loud sound. Everything around them, zombies in the woods, started to tremble and bend. The dust flew into the air and the trees were destroyed. The zombies were bent out of shape and could not move. The me at that moment understood fully. The earthquake, that earthquake, will not only affect the earth, the air, as well as the space can also be affected as well. Everyone, please don't move from your spot. I think I overdid it a little bit. A sound came by a human. A sound made by a human came from the other side of the woods. It came beyond the fence of the teaching office. A girl wearing the academy's uniform emerged into lighting. There was suddenly the sound of drums in my head. It was as if there was a fog that caused her debut to be more dramatic. Azaka Kokto and Messiah Oji's powers are known as magic, while Shizune Seo's future sight is known as superpowers of the biological functions. However, she was a combination of both. Or you could say she's an abnormality. That was the Ryan Girls Academy's pride and young lady with a traditional look that has power to distort the physical law and bend things. Her power level and bust size were unrivaled. Fu what? Fujino Asagami, really? Really? That's new information. Oh my. My gotta really roll for her. Please bend. She said it in an ominous tone. The surface of the earth started to roll upwards. The forest that surrounded us started to distort, knead, and tighten all the corpses into a big blob. The scene looked like it came out of somewhere where the world ended. Even though this description was quite weird, but you could imagine but you could imagine the world now being a picture as it was kneaded into a mess by invisible hands. This was the mystic eyes of Fujino Asagami. No matter how big or hard the object, she'll be able to bend them if she saw them. It was a veritable power. Now, the corpses couldn't move because they and the trees were rolled up like slices of cheese. We ran across the earth that changed into a flat surface again to meet up with Asagami Fujino. Asagami, you saved us, thank you! I apologize, I should have met with you earlier. Fujino Asagami had an apologetic smile on her face. Her face was pale. The bending just now made her use up a lot of mental energy. Even though the scale was different, regardless as if, as if it was bending or the future sight, the whole brain still needed to perform calculations. As for the mental energy, it was better to refer to it as a burden, because it caused wear to the brain and took up calories. Future sight only needed to replenish its user's glucose level to be used again. However, if it was the power at the level of Asagami-san's bending powers, the burden will directly be reflected on the user. Worst case scenario, after she used her bending powers, she'll not exist anymore. The weapon that caused the highest power level but consisted of many constraints. That was the role of Asagami-san. I can explain that in detail as well. I'm really sorry. This is actually really depressing. I'm just like the undead. My perception of reality is distorted. That was why I was could destroy both humans and the ground as easily as destroying paper. However, even though this is a curse, it can still be used now. Please allow me to lend you a hand. Seven days ago, she did confess everything to us. Really, you gave us a lot of problems, Asagami-san. You were separated from us when we ran from the dormitory, and we were really worried about you as well. Looks like you overexerted yourself when you said you could see really well in the dark. 
Saya Senpai gave a little hump when she while she complained. However, everyone knew that she was not afraid when she was in trouble, but it was expressed because she was worried about Asagami-san. I had caused you some trouble. I was interested in the huge bunch of corpses at the dorm. There were so many of them, so I should really be lucky. So you came back again and stayed at the dorm food, you know? Azaka-chan took a couple steps backwards. That's right. That was why the numbers were considerably less than before. You could say it was killing two birds with one stone. Asagami's face did a did-I-do-well grin. This person that was like a traditional, ladylike Japanese-looking girl that puts others a ahead of her first, sometimes she could be a little more bold and ruthless than us. Let's get to safety first in the teaching office. There should be some food still in the office. I also still have the keys. Masaya Senpai led the way into the teaching office. We wanted to find out if anyone was accidentally bitten or not to make sure that everyone was safe. Ryan Girls Academy. A Catholic school with full boarding style that had a long history. Just like a sterilized room. The Girls Academy was totally separated from seculars and current trends. Situated at the mountain far down, far from the downtown, the land was mostly covered with thick woods. Using exemption methods of entry, the teaching office was separated into junior high and senior high. Due to the fact that there were close to 600 students who lived there, so it was not too much if you said that the academy was a convent. The school uniform usage of the sisters' clothing as a base also received praise from the general public. Probably because it's what CL wears, but okay. The academy currently had less than a few handfuls of survivals, survivors left. The situation should be explained starting from the morning eight days ago. Or more accurately, you could say it was ten days ago before the ten days before the end of the world. Due to that, the school was so isolated, the students could only receive news from the outside world from the sisters themselves, and sometimes it would be incorrect. Things started to change two days later. One morning, a few outsiders tipped the school gate and invaded the school grounds. The few sisters that went to warn them ended up not returning at all. The outsiders then turned toward the senior high division. From that moment onward, the 60-year history of the Ryan Girls Academy ended. In summary, the outsiders that invaded the academy were patients. Oh. Oh, interesting. The disease robbed the humanity off those patients. They stopped breathing and lost the ability to carry out metabolism, which caused their heart to stop beating and their blood stopped circulating, which led to the body rotting. The scariest part was, even though the victim died, the body can still move. They will drag their rotting body and move apart, use their god knows what instinct to find healthy human beings, tear their bodies apart, either using their teeth or infect them using their saliva to increase their numbers. According to horror movies, they were referred to as the living dead, or more commonly known as a zombie. They were referred to as infected. According to Messiah Senpai, about half a year ago, there was already news about a new generation of infected. Boy, this is hitting hard right now. Really? This is what we're going with right now? This isn't fair. I wanted escapism, you know? Okay. We only knew about it eight days ago, about how dangerous they were. That was obvious. The disasters at this level were always too late when you noticed it. It was not even half a... It was not even half a day, and Ryan's Girls Academy was already filled with zombies. Was it lucky or unlucky? Zaka Kokdo and her gang were gathered at a special classroom that they had escaped the crisis. When they recovered, the teaching building was already littered with pieces of flesh of students. The infected students marched towards the junior high section. Zaka chan immediately offered to rescue her juniors. Thus, we all set off in that direction. After witnessing the reality firsthand, we ran from the dormitory disconcertedly. We accidentally bumped into Messiah Senpai. Even though she was there at the junior high section, she was chased off by a group of zombies and so close to being bitten. At that moment, Zaka-chan and Asagami-san used their powers. At last, Messiah Senpai joined our little gang that we would live or die together. Seven days ago, sorry, seven days after that, we stayed at the dormitory. A few hours ago, that future site that was useless 
Shizune Iseo saw the most horrible future. If before dawn they could not reach the guest house opposite the senior high section of the teaching building, everyone will die a horrible death. That was why they were running away in the middle of the woods in the night. Excuse us, uh, not a single soul to be seen. That's all right, come on in everyone. There's still some electricity left. Even though there's no one at the power station, it could still run for a while. So if no incidences would happen, the power supply shouldn't be a problem for a short while. That's the benefit of automation. But you should still not turn on the light, Shizune. We'll be spotted by those guys. We should be safe here. The guest house is just mere meters away, so we don't have to rush. Everyone should be tired. Just spend 30 minutes to drink some tea. Wow, from mineral water to electric kettles, you are so well prepared, Messiah Senpai. Senpai, is there snacks? I want some cookies, no matter how much I'll pay you for it. That's all right, you're already broke. Those butter cookies are inedible now. There are a few macaroons left, but if it's in this state, the taste is different. It was a specialty from Paris, right? Fauchon! The specialty macaroon from Paris are called Fauchon! Everyone was purposely on a row. The macaroons, even though they were made with eggs, if it was stored in the fridge, it could still be eaten. Even though it's hard, if it was still sweet, then it's alright. Here, Asagami-san, eat up. Thank you, Seo-san. But I still have some nutritional supplements. Everyone should have some. I had some, but I don't know what the taste was like. Asagami-san closed her eyes, revealing a smile that was happy yet troubled. Aside from her powers, she was always filled with dignity and elegance. However, she closed her eyes because of the accident that happened a year ago. After that, her eyesight slowly became weaker. If she could be alone, she should still be able to see. Should. The small tea party commenced. We began our 30 minutes of rest. After so long, this could be our last supper. We concealed the fear we had in our hearts and began to enjoy the black tea and hardened sweets. Outside came some pattering sounds. I remember the night when the typhoon came when I was younger. Under the shaking light, the student council classroom looked bigger than normal. What's more interesting that you could feel you're in like a theater at that moment. There were still people gathering and issuing messages on the internet or appeal to the general public. However, the government's report division had no reply since three days ago. Or this area was abandoned or measures couldn't be taken. Even so, this would have no effect on us. We could not have imagined ourselves survived. No, we could not even create that kind of future. The world that everyone took for granted already ended 10 days ago. From now, it was to see who would die next. Even though the situation turned bad, but they could still enjoy the tea party. I would still like to take a bath. Kokuto-san, it was already a tacit approval. Asagami-san reprimanded Azaka-chan for a wise crack. Since they were roommates for so long, they could differentiate between a serious conversation and a joke without even looking at each other's faces. The young girls these days were like this, not even at the end of the world or surrounded by zombies, or if the students were all dead, even though they almost got hurt, but it was the equivalent to the problems felt by their bodies. Even though they could withstand hunger, they could not stand the filth on their bodies. When they were in the dorms, the first thing they would do to us was collect their towels, water, and wipes. This time was a bit special. If there were to be a male among us, the scene would be delayed. It's a little hard to believe. Everyone else became a zombie. We're the only ones alive in the future where we died before the dawn. Even Nightmare will have a limit. Well, I also knew that it was wishful thinking. Zaka-san is a dreamer. I firmly believe that this is a dream since the beginning. Well, that is re really reassuring, Messiah-senpai. May I ask why you believe so? You need an explanation? There is no way that things could become like this. Zombie or anything, it should already be outdated. If it was an infection, it should take half a year for one... Uh, half a year to one year for humans to be wiped out. It's been only seven days, no, ten days that the world will end. This ending is impossible. And it should still take another half year to take any measures against this. So, even though this is reality, I still will st strongly believe that this is a dream. If there are any errors, I as a human will strongly refuse to admit this will be solely be a dream. No matter how impossible, Azaka Kokuto will only accept the truth. If the situation is impossible, Messiah Oji will not accept that kind of truth. 
Who was the dreamer and who was the realist? I cannot decide. However, I can feel they made the decision based on their own beliefs. That's right. I also feel this is a dream. Even though it's not very accurate, this is still the first time my heart beats so excitedly. Fujino Asagami, as if observing those two, smiled, silently smiled. It was as if she had a different opinion. I was being tormented by my conscience. Shizune Sei was different from the others. She didn't reveal the truth. When they reached there, a future did not exist anymore. I was ashamed to tell them. Even though they were lucky to escape a bad end, they had already reached the end. Because I was mistaken again. Shizune Seo was careless again. The future scene reached the guest house at dawn was the only thing she saw. However, this future could not be seen again. I say, no matter what, she could not see the future in 20 minutes. No matter what the decision that Fujino san or Izaka san made were useless, events will unfold like a whirlwind, bring an end to everything. Seo's future sight. It was just information processing at the end, right? Uh, what's wrong, Izaka-chan? Well, I was talking about your future sight. Even though you said you could see the image in the future, you didn't think about the principle. So your view is not actually paranormal at the end, it's just first-person view, right? Uh, that's right. The future I saw is just what an average human can see through their naked eyes. I've never seen the future of the view from above like God. How about the future of other people? For example, even though you're not in the scene in the future, are you able to see things in a third-person view? Even though that's really rare, I can still do it. But that can only work if the person is in front of me. For example, Azaka-chan and I, I can view the future whether if you're going to embarrass yourself or any other situations. That's right. The so-called future sight was just an accurate prediction and also an obvious reasoning. Shizune Seo can derive the things that could happen after this moment after going through the information received by her five senses. The people that were categorized under her seers are just people who had the brain capacity to perform the above. Huh. No wonder you say those weird things sometimes. You should be late today. Don't let Mikia make a phone call today. Those kind of things. Huh, I understand now. And also thank you, you were always so nice to me. Those were really big help. It was as if she was reminiscing about her life as a student. This was Azaka Kokdo. Crisp and straight to the point, thanking you without a hint of slapdash. Due to the nobleness of the gratitude, the atmosphere of the tea party became quiet and peaceful. However, a nervous voice disrupted the atmosphere. This, that could also mean that Seo already knew the answers. You saw the reasons we were killed. If so, you wouldn't be able to see the future. It was either you could not recognize the reason, or you have already forgotten about it. Either could not recognize or forgotten? What she said was the truth. In a lifetime, most of the time signs will be given for the answer before the time runs out. However, humans will miss out these signs and regret only after they found out about their failures. Bad endings don't appear when it's too late. They appear when humans missed out the signals. The chat will end here, Azaka-san. Azaka-san. It's almost time to make a decision. Messiah Oji prompted us to make a move. Thirty minutes had passed without us noticing. Even though it was only ten minutes' walk to the guest house, there were so many zombies wandering about, their, uh, about on their way there. Dawn was merely an hour away. The peaceful moment ended. We exited through the emergency exit of the senior high division. We used the flower beds as our cover and headed towards the guest house. And the light lighting of the street lamp, we could spot several zombies. How lucky! There seems to be only four zombies. We could potentially go around them. We are going around them? Why don't we let Asagami-san bend them? No good. I'll track the others after I bend these. Their numbers are higher in the forest. If others come at us like a tsunami, it'll be troublesome. If we were surrounded like insects... If we were surrounded like insects attracted towards a light source, wouldn't that be disgusting? Um... I don't understand what Asagami-san's reference is. It should be referring to them as being really stupid. Fujino's mystic eyes are like cannons. It is nothing towards the enemies that only know how to dash forward. That's right. Animals with intelligence will definitely retreat. 
Zombies are the dead that don't have any feelings. Even though they saw their own comrades have their necks bent in front of them, they will not feel any fear. Azaka-chan nodded at Misaya-san's statement. Huh? However, Fujino-san opened her eyes that were always closed, clearly in shock. Huh? Those people should still have their intelligence, I think. Because they made the decision between assimilate or consume towards healthy, live humans. What, what does that mean? I'm referring to their methods of killing. The zombies will attack humans, but differentiating between tearing the human apart before eating them and killing them. The humans that were eaten will not leave behind any bones. If just killing the human, if just killing the humans, they will turn into zombies. This will naturally be eating and reproducing. Wouldn't that mean those zombies use their own will to differentiate between nutritious food and food that can become them? Uh, no, that is correct, but how could that be true? Fujino, are you saying they are not entirely dead and brainless? Who knows? I myself am not clear on that. But they should have some kind of intelligence. Regarding what kind of intelligence it is, only a zombie understands it better than us. This was as if trying to prove the existence of reincarnation. If you didn't die once, you will never know. But when you die, you're never going to tell anyone else. The view of the dead and the living is entirely different. Even though they were humans, they could not communicate with each other. I think these people are not just mindlessly eating human flesh, but to expel out a different race? Becoming a new race of primates on this world? Talking about new species of primates, huh? Very interesting. A little bit of notes. A little bit of Tsukihime. A little bit of ties there, here and there. Oh, boy. Are you saying they are not zombies, but a new kind of human? Well, that's so primitive. I wouldn't think they have any kind of intelligence. That is also helpless. Those people are like ten-day-old beings that are newly born. No different from a baby. Everyone was speechless. Nobody had even thought about that before. Fujino Asagami's view changed the concepts of humans towards zombies. Zombies, even though have they have thinking capabilities, they lack moderation, just like a one-year-old toddler. However, till now, killing a zombie was equivalent to killing a live human. I'm sorry, are you feeling any better, Azaka-san? A little... Even if we know more about the opponent's situation, nothing has changed. Ten days ago, life here will become nothing but kill to survive. Well, if this hypothesis is correct, we should still have some sort of hope. Even though it was a little childish. But in time, there should be a day where we could communicate with each other. The reactions among the four of us were different. Due to Fujino Asagami's words, we wasted more time than we expected. And we're only 20 minutes left from the future. We made a dash towards to rush from the front, from the slope towards the guest house. Though the four, uh, through the four scattered zombies, the woods both sides of the slope still had dozens of zombies. We wanted to rush up the hill straight into the guest house and shut the doors. It was about 200 meters of sprint. Azaka and Ko Azaka Kokto and Misaya Oji, that were used to running, will have no problem. However. Shizune Seo and Fujino Asagami may only have about 50% chance of surviving. Seo, can you see it? No problem. The sunrise at the guest house, I can see it clearly. I did mention it was a lie. Okay, let's go. Let me handle the zombies on the slope. I'll first close the distance and let out a few punch. What the? Azaka Kokto suddenly yelled out. Shizune Seo and Fujino Asagami that were behind her suddenly paled as if they had seen a ghost. On the hill stood a shadow that did not match well with the scene. The other three zombies were definitely ex-Ryan Girls Academy students. However, the other one is a black-haired girl wearing long white a white long-sleeved kimono. Oh, oh, we know who this is? As if she had just finished her New Year's prayers. Oh, okay. Even though she was a zombie, but her deep black eyes still contain consciousness and intelligence. Her right hand, an unsheathed knife, glimmed with light. That, that, 
that person. Is it Ryogi-san? No matter which way you see it, it's a cheeky asshole. She's still wielding a katana. We're so dead. Uh, she just grinned. She saw us. That's right. Shiki Ryogi entered the battlefield. What kind of person she is, I still don't know. Because I didn't get the chance to know her. How much I knew about her is just within these seven days. Whenever Asuka... Az Azuka... Kokuto. Why is that name killing me right now so much? And Fujino Asagami mentioned her. If it was Shiki, even though her opponent is a zombie, it'll be no problem. She's so scary that she could be friends with them. Even though I don't want to see her, but if Ryogi-san was here, we can feel safer. That person is undefeatable. That's absolutely right. I don't want to say this, but if Shiki was here, the situation would be easily handled. They were talking as if she was invincible. That invincible person was now among the zombie ranks. The final boss is now in front of us. Wait, okay, the whole thing about her being a zombie is real? It's not like... A metaphor? Oh god. Oh god. She be- Oh no! Is she- Is she playing? I can't see her becoming a zombie. Well, let's see. Azaka-chan and Asagami-san's hopelessness. Even I, who was standing behind them, could feel it. Huh? That person named Shiki. How powerful is she, Seo-san? Messiah-senpai, who only just seen Shiki Ryogi, was sarcastic. Hmm... That one. I couldn't come up with anything, so I just looked anywhere else but Messiah Senpai. To be honest, it was as if King Arthur was wielding the Excalibur. <gasps> That's my girlfriend! So, that means we absolutely cannot win this. Suddenly came footstep sounds. It was the sound of Shiki Ryoki's sandals stepping on gravel. The first to react was Azaka-chan. She used the fear on our faces to act as a catalyst, dashing forwards alone. If it's this kind of situation, there won't be anything that holds me back anymore. Let's settle our resentment once and for all. Azaka yelled out revenge for brother. Oh boy, oh boy, while well, she rushed forward. Messiah Senpai panicked and followed her. The rest of us were shocked and rooted to the ground. Fujino Asagami slapped her own face, looked at Shizune Seo and said, Shizune-san. We will head to the guest house from the woods. I will help you attract the attention of the zombies. Even though Asagami-san did not have any future sight, she understood the situation. Azaka Kokuto was beheaded first. Oh. Messiah Oji could only watch before getting beheaded. The slope was inaccessible because of that woman. So even though the forest was dangerous, it was one and only way to reach the goal. Run quickly. I want to affect Shizune-san. Her voice was very calm. She won't allow any rebuttals. I'll head there first and wait for you at the guest house. I ran. At that moment, shizune Seo blended into the forest. The slope was bent. Ujino Asagami and Shiki Ryogi, both the users of Mystic Eyes, they began their last battle. I have so many questions about how this is going to go down. Because, like, there's some big wipeouts happening. Oh, boy. And then I reached the guest house. This was the westernized building that was based on Roku Maikon. Apparently, due to the western influence, there were lots of these kinds of buildings that were built, but most of them were just a copy. The finished buildings were mostly mixed with some of the Japanese aesthetics, and this is one of those buildings. Now is entirely unrecognizable. There were only burned ruins after the walls. There were rumors about something similar. There was an arson that caused one of the dormitories to be burned to the ground. Ah, in the end. This was similar to what I had seen, I murmured to myself. My footsteps faltered through the rubble on the hill. Shizune Seo's scene of the future was exactly looking at the sunrise from the guest house. That's right. That night three days ago. I could see some light coming from the dormitory's window. Shizune Seo did not realize that it was from the fire. She was as if a camera without her its own will captured all the answers. She could only notice the part she was interested in. Only noticing the things that she wanted to know about. She was very human. Hopelessly degrading and improving. 
I slumped to the ground. I kneel on the highest point of the ruins, as if I had given up everything and looked at the sky. A knife came from Shizune Seo's back and held against uh, and held against her neck. Huh. What? So we got black dots. It was Shiki Ryogi. But I did not understand a word she said. Soda why what? So to avoid any confusion, it shall be translated. This is translated from the original. What the frick? I can't tell what's what's an author's note and what's not. Please write, please write A.N. in the future. You are one of the onsets of this disease. So you are better than those bastards running around. Well, even though I will, ki I will kill those that were infected. Oh, confused, I looked at my hand. There was the bite mark of a zombie. Zombies were able to differentiate between food and comrades by themselves, so they used different methods to kill humans. Comrades were those that would become zombies after they'd been affected. Food was those that were unable to turn into a zombie after being infected. Very similar to some stuff in Tsukihime. But how did they differentiate between the two? Whatever. Judgments were already made. Because ten days ago, all the humans were already infected. The infection's incubation period is very long. If the infected numbers did not reach 7 billion, it will not ha ha have any effect. Well, that could also mean every human being in the world was infected at the same time with the flu? Ah, the viruses are also living things that will do anything to multiply, but due to their structure, they are unable to do whatever they want. Due to that, they can only multiply in the human body. But because of this uh, multiplication, that other human beings will want to destroy them. The disease that was spread among humans that will not be able to destroy mankind. If it was like that, within seven days, humans will be wiped entirely clean. From the beginning, we were just fighting in a world that was going to die. The end of the world is only like this. When you notice that something is wrong, it was already too late. Seven billion humans collectively gave up. It was so easy to snatch the world. So from the beginning, Shizune Seo and her friends fought and gained friendship within these seven days for naught, just like dirt on film. Even though she could not understand the language, the meaning was conveyed. Shizune Seo cried while she prayed. There was a hissing sound. The glorious sunlight shone at, her, at my feet, as if the monsters that turned into ash in the sunlight, everything turned to dust. This was also a kind of world end. I closed my eyes silently. Chapter one end. Uh, I have several questions. I have so many questions. So I'm going back up. One. Messiah's not even on the cover. That's funny. We just forget about her. Two. What? What? <laughs> I just... What? All I... <sighs> I guess I gotta keep reading. We're not going to today because, again, I only have so much time. But um, after reading the, you know, the first chapter here. So, Shiki was a zombie? You are one of the onsets of the disease. Oh my god. So, did everyone die? Because, okay, the zombies are looking a lot more closer like the sort of, well, like, well, like, like the zombies in Tsukihime, right? They're not, like, mindless, like, the, kind of, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. All right, guys. Thank you for being here. And we'll continue next time with some more reading of, uh, of, uh, Garden of Sinners' final record. I, I'm very curious where this is going. I wonder if we're going to get... I mean, we do know that 
you know, there is one character who wears a white kimono and carries a sword who has tremendous powers. Will we get to see them? I feel like that's the only way this could end. Thank you all for being here. We'll see you next time for the next chapter. Garden of Sinners. Final record. Ciao.